Hello, this is Coordinator 601 and I'm going to do a solid review. Today, I'm going to be doing the Liger Zero from, I think, just the ordinary first Zoid series, I'm not too sure. Piloted by BitCloud. Um, I have to say my favorite Zoid out of all of them. Colors, about half white, half black. A little bit of red for these rubber joints. Some gold for the claws and the teeth. And a little bit of clear orange for the eyes and the cockpit. Articulation, um, the side pieces open up, the thrusters move open up, and as you can see when you open up the thrusters, the vernier will kind of like move um, back and forth. The side blades will open up on both sides, and the claws will open up for its laser attack. And right now, um, I have it in its super mode. When it's doing that laser claw attack, you see the decals on like certain places. I was like starting uh, starting out modeling when I built this, so I didn't know where the decals would go. It is powered by two AAA batteries. It can move. So, oh yes, I f uh, and for more articulation, the cannon on the bottom will move and the and on the tail will move, and also the tail itself moves. Okay, for the motor, you just turn it on. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but then the mouth moves up and down when you turn on the motor. I like how you could take off the armor right here. Or like you know, on like all the all of the white armor from the Liger Zero, and switch in be switch it between the blue armor, the Jaeger, the orange armor, um, the Schneiser, and the green armor, the Jaeger. I'm um, the Panzer, the Panzer. I'm sorry. The Panzer is um all long range, lots of cannons. Jaeger is kind of like for agility with lots of thrusters, and the Schneiser is for close range with lots of blades. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy those because personally I like the original the best. I would recommend the Liger Zero if you are a Zoids fan or if you like model kits that move. Uh, I think that's just about it. I will see you guys in the next model kit review.